this logic model is going to talk about key components of logic models. When thinking about planning and development, a logic model can be useful because it helps you identify what resources are needed in order to implement the program, the activities that will happen during the program, and, its associ and their associated out products, and the short and long-term outcomes of the program. Sometimes logic models also include threats, the external and internal things that could implement, that could create barriers or challenges to implementation. Oftentimes, logic models are displayed in table format like this. Inputs are the resources needed to implement and sustain the program. This could include the funding sources for the program, staff needed, external stakeholders and partners that will be participating in the implementation of the program, and in some cases, researchers. Researchers are generally only included in the logic model if they are actively a part of the development of the program. The activities of the program are those that are necessary for program success. They often reflect the core program components. They could include tools and technology that are being used and implemented or developed, events that are being held, or the processes and procedures that should be implemented as part of the program. As can be seen, the input will impact or affect the activities, and so they're, inter and they're very connected. So whatever input you have, there should be some type of associated activity um, connected to that input. Outputs are the products of the program activities. They can include the type, how much, or the magnitude um, engaged in, and the dosage. So for instance, if your program is about training others in the community, then the activity would be the training and the output would be the number of trainings completed, the number of people who went to those trainings and the types of people that went to those trainings and how long those trainings might be. Short and long-term outcomes are the expected change that can happen. Short-term out outcomes are those that, that are expected to occur immediately. So within close after you've completed the activities. So again, if we use our example of a training program, you complete the training program, the ex short term expectation might be that you have increased the knowledge of the individuals who have completed the program. Long term outcomes are those um, changes that are expected over several months to years. This might be the impact that the, pro that the training has on the behaviors of those who have completed the training. So as the short-term outcomes might be an increase in knowledge, the long-term outcomes might be a change in the behavior um, working in the field. As I mentioned, some logic models include threats. Oftentimes these threats are to implementation and sustainability of the program. These might include internal barriers such as existing capacity of the agency to implement the program successfully, processes and practices such as hiring and procurement factors that may impact your ability to bring in resources, and then internal buy-in and support such as the organizational climate and the willingness of staff members to implement and change as necessary by the program. Sometimes you also have external barriers such as stake other stakeholder buy-in and support that are necessary for successful program implementation. For more information about what components are and for assistance in developing those components of your program, please contact the authority at 312-793-8550 or email us at cja.irc at illinois.gov.